clean. My hair. Hair. My 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 hair. Teresa Nyamer is only 19 years old, but she's already dedicating her life to helping the next generation of South Sudanese learn and reach their full potential. Despite the ongoing conflict, Teresa volunteers her time to teach math and science at the local Ding Ding Primary School in her village. In the midst of an outbreak of violence in 2014, Teresa fled her home in the north of South Sudan, finding refuge at the United Nations Protection of Civilian Site in Bentu. Years later, a lull in the conflict made her feel confident to return home. <laughs> Teresa is among a number of former residents of the POC site who are returning to settlements outside of the camp as part of the Beyond Bentu outreach response strategy. The Unmissed Bentu Field Office and humanitarian partners are investing in the local communities and the economy by providing basic services like schools and health clinics in the designated sites. Military patrols are also being conducted by the UN mission. Kojo Se, a village outside Bentu, is another such selected site. Once a thriving center of town, the area was left barren after a surge in violence several years ago left many fleeing for their lives. Now, more than 300 families have begun to resettle here. Among them is 24-year-old Pei Gatlak, who also lived in the POC site for three years, seeking sanctuary from the conflict. Okay. A few months ago, after moving to the village with his two sisters, mother and a brother, Pei took up a temporary job as a carpenter at the Danish refugee camp. Though the job is not a lifelong pursuit, he says it provides some savings and is a skill he learned from his father who died during the 2015 conflict. <laughs> The protection of civilians by UN peacekeepers goes beyond the POC sites. Hiro Hara says an important part of nation building is helping residents to go back to their normal life. Our mandate doesn't stop in the POC site. We also have to work um, to accommodate the needs of the people who also wanted to go out. Our troops go there on their own and then do the patrolling. So to um, show the presence and then build the confidence in the community that UN peacekeepers are present and uh, they feel secure and then safe that if they really want to go back. With the strategy in place, people like Teresa and Pei are able to return home to live with dignity and in peace. Huh?